Woody's, proud sponsor of Supergarden. So when laying crazy paving, there's a couple of things you have to consider. So the first thing you need to consider is your hardcore. It should be about six inches in depth, it should flow away from the house, and it should be compact. Your next step is picking out your stone. To have a couple of pieces ready at hand is always advisable. When laying crazy paving, the best way to break your stone is to hold it in the air and let it drop. This will break naturally and it's particularly handy when you want to find small pieces. Your next step is to lay your patio. It should be laid in wet sand and cement and your ratio of sand to cement should be three to one. The next thing you need to do is sit your pieces in. Leave it a little bit high and tap it down with a rubber hammer. Then use a level to make sure it's flowing away from the house and even with the rest of the patio. Your last and final step is to point your patio. This should be done the next day. Using a wet sand and cement mix, point in between your stones and wash down with a sponge. At that stage, you should be finished and have a lovely patio. Woody's, proud sponsor of Supergarden.